I'm about to show you how to create a lead magnet that converts like crazy. Lead magnets are one of the most effective ways to collect leads online, but most people don't know how to create them correctly. That's why I'm here to help. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to create a lead magnet that will help you get more subscribers and customers in no time. So step number one is brainstorm your target audience's pain points. Now, why do you need to know their pain points? Well, the very purpose of a lead magnet is to solve a problem for someone, or in other words, give them a quick win, which will have them coming back to you for more once they get into your email sequence. What I would recommend is starting with a Google Sheets or Excel spreadsheet and just list the common struggles that you hear from people regularly. Now, this may be things that you hear on a phone call or through text messages or through email, whatever it is, list those problems that you hear most frequently from your target audience so that you can start to get some ideas of what kind of lead magnet you might wanna create. Another idea is to take a handful of clients, maybe three to five clients who you know pretty well and ask them what their biggest struggle is. You can get on a phone call, on a Zoom call, shoot an email to them, whatever it is. But the important thing here is that you're listening to the language that they're using. When you can repeat back to them in their own language, the struggle and the solution, they are much more likely to think, whoa, he's in my head, she's in my head. How did they do that? Right, because you're listening and that's the first thing that you need to do when you're trying to figure out how to solve someone's problem. Another idea is to put a poll out on social media, maybe LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. I do this all the time. And the question you wanna ask is, what is your biggest struggle related to whatever the problem is or whatever the, the area uh, is. So you wanna ask that of people. I do this all the time in my email sequences that I use and I actually get people responding. I have a photography company where I teach people how to get better at being landscape photographers. And I literally just today got an email from somebody saying, Hey, I've attached a picture here of something I want to create. It's not my own, but I can't figure out how to make the clouds look like that. What do I do? They're literally responding and they said, I'm sending this to you because you asked me what my struggles were. Holy cow. People actually want to engage with you on this. And when you can go back to them with some solid answers on things in the form of a lead magnet that gives them a quick win, this is a great way to get them in front of you and want to work with you more. All right, step number two to creating these lead magnets that convert like crazy, choose a lead magnet type that makes sense for them. Could be a cheat sheet, could be a checklist, could be a guide, a video course, a challenge. I've even seen people be successful with quizzes. The thing that you want to figure out is what is gonna resonate best with people. So for instance, I have a lead magnet for insurance agents and agency owners to help them figure out how to hire more effectively. And one of the biggest struggles that people have in our industry and in any industry currently is filling their talent pipeline. So I have a lead magnet that's dedicated to that. And the best way that I knew that they were going to consume that and figure out problems was just to put it in a guide. This could be a guide that you create using Google Docs or Canva or whatever. We'll talk about that more in a second. But just think about what people might want to use to help them solve that. It may be a short video course, for instance, with the photography channel. If I were to do a three or five part video series on how to edit using Lightroom more effectively, that might be something that people want. So just think about who your target audience is and where they typically are. Are they on YouTube? Are they on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram? What content type are they used to seeing? How might they best digest the content that you create through this lead magnet? All right, step number three, like I said, Create it beautifully. Don't just create it, but make it beautiful. I use Canva. I am an affiliate for Canva, which means if you use the link below, I'll earn a small commission, which helps me bring you more content like this for free. Canva is one of the best 
pieces of software online today and it's very low cost and it can make you look like a pro. I've had people say before, wow, who did you have do that? I said, oh, no, 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 I did that. I just use Canva. It's so easy. They have all kinds of templates. As a matter of fact, if you type in the phrase lead magnet into Canva, it pops up with all kinds of templates that you can use to create your own lead magnet. But you wanna make sure that it looks good, it has good quality. So if it is a guide or a checklist or something of that nature that's gonna be a downloadable PDF, absolutely use Canva. Now, if you're not graphically inclined and you don't want to use software like that, outsource it. You can use someplace like Upwork or Fiverr. I'm also an affiliate for Fiverr, so you can use that link. Fiverr is a fantastic way to find people that can create content for you, including lead magnets. Actually, the person that's editing the video that you're actually watching right now, I found on fire. Thank you, Sia. She is on fire. She's on Fiverr. Fire. Yeah, okay, you get the idea. All right, another idea is to use a college student somebody who's studying design or video editing or whatever it might be. Speaking of videos, if you film your own video and you wanna have somebody edit it, like I said, have somebody else do that for you if you're not inclined to do that on your own. Pro tip for you, provide far more value than you think they will expect from you. This is a big one because this is your moment to wow people. It's the first impression you're making on someone, right? To bring them into your world so that you can send them more content through your email sequence. The whole purpose of a lead magnet is to get somebody onto your email list so that you can nurture them by providing them more free content, something that's gonna help them because the name of the game is give, give, give before you ask for anything in return. Whatever it is that you're creating, just make sure that it goes above and beyond. That guide for insurance agents to fill up their talent pipeline, that guides at least four or five pages of single space content with graphics and everything that really helps walk people step by step the things that they could do to fill their talent pipeline. So just provide more value than you think they're going to expect from you. What's next? Well, number one, watch five tricks to improve your email marketing strategy, which is a video right here on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, if not, come on to YouTube and watch that. This will give you some great ideas of how to improve your email marketing strategy. Next, watch the playlist I put here on YouTube called Content Marketing Playlist, which is continuing to fill up and get more and more videos to teach you how to be better at content marketing. And finally, if you want to see a lead magnet in action, download the free guide, Five Ways to Provide Value Before Asking for Anything in Return. This is for anybody who's in the sales industry especially to figure out how to get people to want to do business with you by giving first before you ask them for anything. And you can grab that at agentsgrowthacademy.com forward slash value. If this video was helpful for you, I would appreciate it. If you like it, give me some feedback through a comment and subscribe. And until next time, folks, grow big or go home.